here and today I'm taking a look at the first episode of Faded to Love You, Korean version and comparing it to the original Taiwanese version. Let's tumble! Okay, looking at this one, that hair flip though. John Hyuk has some serious hairs. Like, serious for serious hairs. It's kind of comical actually because when you compare it to Ethan Ruin in the first one, he's got like the buzz cut going. So that definitely is a difference. He is also kind of over the top extreme, which suits Fated to Love You as a drama per se, but um, yeah. It's just, it's, it's definitely not the same. It's kind of funny actually because they're similar, very similar, and it's actually, in my opinion, a really good remake of the drama. It's totally watchable, but it is definitely not the same drama, which is good. That's good. Um, yes, here you have the bed scene. She's like, oh my goodness, here you have her. She's super cute in the glasses. She's almost too cute. It's just, she's almost too cute to be a plain, ordinary, sticky note girl. Gotta say. Gotta say that. Um, the hair flip thing, when he got, he washed his hair. Hilarious. Hilarious. Like, they, they definitely have the slapstick humor in this one that I wanted them to have, that I was hoping that they had, and yes, they have that. And that's really cool. It's cute. I still miss the original version because I loved the guy who plays Dylan, Baron Chen. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, I like the original, but I'm really liking this Korean drama. And I really want to keep watching this one. Here we go. Okay, here are some comparisons. So, you have the Taiwanese version versus the Korean version. Oh, he didn't have a bit buzz cut. He had short hair, though. You have the Taiwanese version, where she looks super glamorous, and the Korean version, which is also glamorous, but a little toned down, I want to say. I want to say, like, the Korean version is a little... I don't know. It's very Koreanized. It's very glamorous. It's very upscale, ritzy, and... Oh, the comedy is taken down a notch. So, in actuality, it may actually be more watchable for most people, but that's just kind of my impression. We'll see. I've only seen the first episode at, by, because I really wanted to make this for you guys and let you know my thoughts ASAP. And I like this one. I really do like this one. I think that they're totally nailing it, unlike a personal kiss, which some of you actually like, but I don't. I think that this is actually a decent remake, and I'm looking forward to watching more episodes. So yes, that's what I think. I think it's cute. I think that they have, they totally have chemistry. The main leads totally have chemistry. Oh my gosh. He's hilarious. I don't know if I ship him yet, if I think he's like the fantastic guy. I don't know if, if he's up there on my Smexy scale, but he's cute. He's cute. And it is over the top, but that's fated to love you. And I feel like I'm repeating myself. So on that note, I'm going to finish this out. Um, if you haven't watched Fated to Love You, it's a little comical, but it's totally worth seeing. I'm really enjoying this casting. I'm really enjoying how they're portraying the story so far. And, you know, I think that it's going to be a really great drama in the long run. I gotta watch all the episodes. Yes. So, that's it, you guys. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. That's it. Bye! Zilson Gunman. Very good from the first episode. Really liking it. Very poignant. Liking a lot of, like, the quotes and things that are being said. The whole kind of message and inspiration of times are changing look around you look outside of yourself don't be oblivious to the world that you are in and i think that's really good to know 